Wednesday night. Happening tomorrow, a final farewell for a Salinas police officer killed in the line of duty. Officer Jorge Alvarado Jr. was shot and killed during a traffic stop last month. He served in law enforcement for five years after serving in the U.S. Army. Officer Alvarado was supposed to be married later this year. Tomorrow, thousands of people are expected to come out to Rabobank Stadium to honor Officer Alvarado. KION's Erica Bratin spoke with Salinas Police and Salinas Mayor Kimberly Craig about the public memorial and what it means for the community that's grieving along with the department. Erica. Phil, the public memorial is an opportunity for people to come together to pay their respects and remember a local hero gone too soon. To serve and protect, that's what Officer Alvarado did the night he was shot and killed during a traffic stop in Salinas. He needs to be uh, remembered. His legacy will, will be, uh, you know, with us forever. He was with us for a very short time and, and he made us mark. Thursday morning, people can come together during a public memorial to honor Officer Alvarado, who made the ultimate sacrifice for his community. They're in pain and, you know, they're, they're also grieving. And this is an opportunity for the uh, community, the local community and, and, and uh, other, other communities uh, in the area to pay their respects. A procession will start on Lincoln Avenue at Alisal Street in Salinas at 6.45 a.m. and will end at Rabobank Stadium, where a memorial service is set to begin at 10 a.m. Brothers and Sisters in Blue will be seated on the field, community members in the bleachers, and all are welcomed until the stadium hits capacity. Tomorrow is not the end of the healing process by any means. Um, we have a lot of work to do, and frankly, the community needs to continue supporting our officers. They are hurting, they are grieving, they are continually working through their grief. Officer Alvarado was also remembered during a fundraising dinner this past weekend hosted by a nonprofit Patriots of Freedom, which raised over $25,000 for the Salinas Police Department's K-9 unit. It's, you know, it's a shame, you know, something like this shouldn't have happened, but it, it, it does, I mean, not just here everywhere, but when you live here and it happens here, it hits a little harder. If you can't attend in person, you can live stream the procession and the service on social media or watch KION tomorrow morning where we will have live coverage of both. Erica Bratin for KION News Channel 5 46. Okay, thanks, Erica.